This morning around 9 a.m., we arrested three people and seized two children following high-risk drug warrants in opposite ends of the city that netted cocaine, marijuana, and a substantial amount of cash. During one of the warrants in the 2300 block of 19th Street Southwest, a pit bull style dog inside the home lunged and then latched onto the left arm of a tactical team member. Despite efforts to get the dog to release from the officer, the dog would not and another tactical officer was forced to shoot and kill the animal. The injured officer was taken to the hospital and treated for a serious bite to his arm. The officer needed upwards of a dozen stitches to close the wound and long-term damage to his arm is still not yet being determined. Two people who were at the home at the time of the warrant have been arrested and charges are pending. This investigation started from a tip from the public and resulted in a three-week drug probe into a dial dope operation. As mentioned, drugs and large quantities of cash have been seized. However, exact amounts are currently being determined. A second and connected high-risk warrant was executed by tactical team members without incident in the 200 block of Coral Springs Northeast. Three people, a woman and two kids, were at the home at the time. Several pit bull type dogs were also located at this resident, and the woman was arrested and the children have been seized. Members of the Calgary Police Service Tactical Unit are highly specialized and respond to the most dangerous and high-risk incidents in the city including all drug warrants and calls where weapons are involved. The team executes upwards of 300 drug warrants and high-risk weapons calls every year. As you can imagine, this is a significant operation and will take some time to compile all of the details. Once we have the names of those charged and the amounts of seized drugs, we will release those details. I now have time to take some questions. Dial-a-dope uh, refers to uh, cell phone operations where typically a uh, buyer will call a number um, and then make arrangements for a purchase. And um, the officer, how is he emotionally? I mean, that's freaky acts, scary to go in and be approached like that. These are highly trained officers and I'm not going to minimize the impact that it has on, uh, on, on anyone. Uh, but they're, they're trained to deal with high risk situations and put themselves at risk really every day as you can see by those statistics um, and I'm confident that uh, this officer is uh, is going to recover from uh, his wounds both physically and psychologically. Do you what transfer the child family protective services? They're at a safe location. What efforts were made to get the dog to release before shooting him? Um, the efforts that were made to uh, have the dog released, the officer who had it latched onto his arm tried to pull away and the dog had uh, locked its jaw. This is what we call it a, dy a dynamic uh, forced entry. So there's a drug warrant that's being executed. It was right at the initial stages. So you had the entire rest of the house that had to be cleared. So time was of the essence and, um, and lethal force was the, uh, the only option available at that time to uh, immediately have that dog release. Are the people that are in custody, are they known to police? Uh, one of them are known to police and that investigation is still ongoing. Now how big of a drug bust is this? How significant is this? It, it's, it's significant. Uh, it shows a level of sophistication anytime you have a dial-a-dope operation, so someone that's out trafficking in the community operating from a home in uh, the 2300 block of 19th Street was sort of, I'll call that the storefront. Um, and then it also had uh, a second home which we would refer to as a stash location. And show, so that shows a level of sophistication. So. Uh, I call that significant. Uh, it's significant to community safety. In terms of quantity of drugs, that's not always the uh, test because drugs come in and out of these locations uh, very, very frequently. So mid-level street dealing? Yeah, mid-level would be a good way of uh, summarizing that. Then Coral Springs would be the stash house? Correct. That's uh, what we believe in, in this so investigation. The mother of those children? Uh, I don't have that information. And were the warrants, were they both executed at the same time? Uh, they were consecutive. Okay. There's no incident with the dogs at the other house? No, the, and, and typically, um, when whenever we run into dogs at a, a search warrant, most will be quite passive, uh, even breeds that would be traditionally viewed as aggressive. This is highly unusual that a dog would uh, attack uh, a police officer, let alone attack team, doing a dynamic entry. Did you know going into the uh, 
been to serve the warrant that there would be dogs there? We had no indication that there were any dogs there. And these, um, both of these locations were under surveillance for a significant period of time. So to our knowledge, these dogs remained inside the house. And they're co the operation's connected? That's correct. Um, when you say pit bull type, is that, does that mean it's going to be a pit bull? Or does that mean you just think it is? You're not sure that's pretty we're, We can't confirm that they're purebreds. We can tell you that it's a pit bull style dog. Bylaw services will be following up on uh, both of the uh, the deceased dog as well as the other three pit bulls, uh, and we'll be able to make that determination of whether they're purebreds or not. But, but so we, we can't say pit bull style dog. But can we, is it a cross then? Pit bulls cross? We don't have the specifics of that. So to be accurate, we're giving it a that it is a pit bull type of dog, um, and the actual breed or cross of those breeds will follow in the subsequent investigation. Did the owner uh, sick the dog on the officers or did it on its, or on its own? The dog did it on its own. Are you expecting to announce charges or possible charges today? Yes, that's what we would suspect. Again, the evidence that's being gathered at both of those locations will form part of those charges. So until they have that, they can't bring them before the Justice of the Peace. Are more or less expected to come stemming from this? Not at this time. So you got everyone that you were looking for? Correct.